Hi everybody, this is Shauna from Shauna.Plans on Instagram and here on YouTube. So, I got a pile of things to talk about. Um, okay, let's start with my new schedule. Okay, so I have been loving doing the customized digital planner stickers, um, desk accessories, that kind of thing, using the custom scene products in Procreate. Uh, but I don't want that to take over my plan with me videos. So I'm thinking I'm going to try and add a third video into my weekly schedule. So let me know um, what you guys think of that. I'll start right away. So Sundays are going to be plan with me, just basic good notes, digital stickers, planning, using kits that are all ready to go. Um, I'm also going to, in the Sunday videos, I'll talk about the paper challenge for the upcoming week and I want to go over all of the wonderful sticker kits that I've purchased um, and acquired during that week. So Sundays will go digital paper challenge, new sticker kits, and then a plan with me spread. Tuesdays will be making stickers and a spread in custom scene. Sometimes using the paper from that week's digital paper challenge. And then Thursdays will be new releases from Pink Punch Studio. So I think that will keep me very busy. Hopefully you guys won't all get bored of me. Um, and watching me fumble around on my iPad. But uh, I think I'm going to give that a go. So anyway, let me know what you think um, in, the, in the comments to the video or in the Facebook group. If you ever have any shop or kit or paper or anything you want me to do a video on, just let me know. I love suggestions. Um, so let's dive in. Uh, let's do the digital paper challenge first. So I, I made a new little yellow thing for custom scenes. So the custom scene videos are going to be yellow. Pink Punch Studio ones are pink, and the Sunday ones, I haven't updated it because I'm not too sure what kit I'm going to use yet, the Sunday ones are blue. I can share these stickers if you want, the yellow, blue, and pink, and stick days on them. Um, let me know if anybody has any interest in my little stickers for their calendars, and I can definitely share those. So you know what? Maybe I just will. Watch for them in the next week or so. I'll put them on my um, coffee page. I'll let you know when I have them up there. So anywho, um, digital paper challenge. So this, I posted this today in my Facebook group and on my Instagram page. You can see the background. Oops. That's the paper that we're going to be using. It is so pretty. The artist is Jennifer Crowder Art. She has an Etsy shop. She has a Facebook page. Um, she is so, so amazingly talented. Do, do, do. She gave us actually a few papers. So we're going to use the splatter paint one to this week and I have other ones that we can use later in the week. I've already bought two of her kits. Um, they're a little different from the splatter paint but you can see they've got like that vintage feel that you guys all know that I love so much. Look at it. It's so pretty. Um, this kit's called Nevermore. And so I believe that she paints these and then makes them into a digital picture. And that's what she has available in her Etsy shop. And they're so pretty. I love them. So anyway, I've bought those two kits. They're a little different from the one that we're doing this week, which is this one. Isn't it amazing? Love, love, love. It's going to be so much fun. I can't wait to see all of the spreads you guys use. For those of you new, the digital paper challenge is I share 
a digital paper that I have gotten from artists, shops, freebies, whatever I can find. We are on week four. Last week was really pretty also. It was from Photographic. It was this one and this one. And you guys made some amazing spreads. I love seeing them posted in the group. Um, I actually went, okay, let's, let's move into the talking about what I bought this week. I actually bought a lot of stickers this week. I haven't been buying that many stickers lately and I totally made up for it this week. So from Photographic Scrap, that was our sponsor, <laughs> I don't know what you call it, last week, the um, shop that donated our papers last week, I purchased the family tree kit. So there's, I purchased the big scrapbook element kit as well as the big matching digital paper kit. Let me go in. The digital papers are here. Um, so it's called Family Tree. And you can see they're really pretty blues, yellows, and browns. These are all the digital papers. Love them. Love, love, love. So pretty. The words are like parents, granddaughter, sister, niece, grandmother, mother. So anyway, I purchased this kit from her. And then I haven't totally finished uh, putting all the elements into a GoodNotes file yet. But you can see all the different things. There's buttons, there's picture frames, there's some little family style quotes. Brothers make the best friends, cousins make the best friends, sisters make the best friends. You get the idea. Some wood, wooden look photo corners. These ones I thought were really fun. They're like screws. Rusty old screws. <laughs> Pretty bird. And its feet are perfect to make it look like it's sitting on um, something in your spread. Anyway, there's a lot of really fun stickers uh, in this scrapbook kit. So that is from last week's sponsor. This is everything in my new folder. What I do when I purchase a new sticker kit is I put it in my new folder and I leave it there until I've used it at least once and then I move it into its appropriate shop named folder in my good notes. So everything from here <laughs> from the shadow cat kit is new this week. Shh, don't judge. Um, so I bought the Shadow Cat Digitals Distressed Kit, and it's so pretty. It has glitter. Oop, wrong way. I just added a page. Didn't mean it. All right, back to this. It's got like the alcohol ink kind of look, bubbles, I don't know what you call it. But then it has like metallic bits of glitter throughout some of them. You can see the little swirls of glitter. So pretty. So, so pretty. Uh, I have this sorted by date right now, but as I open them, it moves them to the front. So this is the newest kit from A Goodwin Designs, Trust Your Journey. And if you're in her newsletter, you get the mini kit, the add-on kit for free. I don't remember. Part of this is the free add-on kit and part of this is the mini kit. I think the mini kit stops here. And then these are free if you're in the A Goodwin Design newsletter. Maybe it's just the last two pages. Some extra matchy stickers, some functional stuff and trackers. I love the colors in this kit. It's called Desert Boho. And then from Lenny Digitals, it's green and it's yarn. I had to buy it. So this is Francine, one of the newer Lenny Digitals characters. I think it's mostly a sewing kit, but it has yarn. So I had to buy it. I'm not much of a sewer, um, but still super cute kit. Funny little quotes. Miora Studios. 
released a new spring kit. It's very pretty. Corals and pinks, my some of my favorites. A little sheep, a little duck. It's such a pretty kit. So this is the spring kit from the R Studio. In Midnights, I got this planner, orange and blue. I just love the colors. I think that it's it's called Fallen, and so I think it might have been something that's been out for a while, maybe released for autumn. Look at that. Isn't that lace piled up deal like the prettiest thing ever? I have no idea what I'm going to do with it yet, but it's gorgeous. And then In Midnight's new release is this vinyl record player kit. I don't even know. I haven't even had a chance to think of some creative way to use it yet other than decorating my desktop. But how cool are those record players? So gorgeous. It looks so real. Then... Oh So Whimsy released the new sidekick for April. It's all pretty pastels and Easter. And the pink color is her You Got This Challenge color for this month. Oh, I had too many things open here. Let's close some tabs before goodness closes them for me okay where am I then there were some new elements released in the money digital shop and I purchased the green BYO planner and the pink one so you get the open journal cover and the staples that can go in the center a pin the front cover of like a planner style and a notebook style and then some open pages that um, you can fit on here to kind of build your own little planner. The Lenny Digital's Extreme Planning for April is going to be the square um, clipboard. And this is the first week's installment of, of clips to go on the top of the clipboard. So I just made them into a good notes file. They come as individual PNGs. So you can just layer your papers and then your little clip on top and use that in your spreads for April extreme planning. And then oh, we did that one. And then yeah, we've already talked about this is the family tree kit from Photographic Scrap. And this is as far as I've gotten in making it into a good notes file. I just grabbed some of the, the goodies and brought them in. So those are my new releases. That is the digital paper challenge. And now we can dive into setting up a spread. I think I'm going to do, oh, I haven't planned ahead at all for this. I'm thinking. We do a daily or a weekly. I should probably use some of my new stickers. They're not all new. Some of them I've had for actually quite a while. Um, this one, this one says August <laughs> of last year. Um, but oh, choices are hard. I think let me close a bunch of stuff up. So. I didn't do a daily. I didn't make a daily today. So this is my weekly and this will be tomorrow's daily. I kind of want to use this new Lenny Digital's planner. So whichever it matches best will decide what we're doing. That's not bad. That's the daily. Oh, I think I like it better on a weekly. All right, we're going to do a weekly spread. I'm going to keep the plain paper. So let's just grab the pen and the staples. And I'm going to grab this too, I think. All right, so I will link 
I'm not going to link everything that I just showed you in the description because I will be spending the next hour linking stuff. This is so skinny <laughs> that it wasn't letting me pick it. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's try lasso instead. There we go. Okay. But yeah, if there's any of the kits that I showed you and if I went too fast or you didn't catch the name, just ask me and I will be happy to get you the link for any of those things that I just showed you that I bought because there was too many and it will take me forever if I were to link them all in the description. I'll never get to bed tonight. It's already 11 p.m. So I just cut that and paste it back down so that this cover will be underneath. And I'm gonna put it here because I want the little claspy thing with Davy, the little Davy head to show. Cute. Okay. So, what else have we got? I have that new sewing kit matches, but I need boxes or something. Okay, I'm going to open this one, and then I'm going to go to my Lenny Digitals folder. What have I got in holo sets that might match green? Let's give it a minute to catch up here. I haven't opened this folder in a while. So these are the holo kits from Lenny Digitals. In the Patreon group, we get one each month. If if you're in the Lenny Digitals pa Patreon. The other ones I have are older from past years when she used to do them. She did some as freebies, some you can still find on her blog. This one is the Shea Kit. It has some green in it. I think I could make that work with this background. all the pretty greens. I haven't been doing wailies. Honestly, I haven't been doing half my dailies. Um, and I do still like the wailies. I just have kind of fallen off with my regular planning lately. And having the whaley made it harder to coordinate the day, which made it harder to do the spread, which made it less likely to get done. So I stopped. I didn't mean to unselect those. Need to get them the size that I want. I'm gonna put those. Okay, so that's the size I want. I'm gonna copy, put it back, paste. Maybe this one here. Oh, look at that washi. It's transparent and like little flecks. I love it. That is so pretty. I'm 
I'm just going to grab these staples. Move them up here so I can lasso, cut, paste, and just put it back on so that it's not underneath that washi. I'm not sure if this peachy color is going to be a little much. Nope, it's going to be perfect. Look at that. Okay, so I am going to do that, I think. go left to right, top to bottom, I'll go left the page first, then left to right, top to bottom on the right page, just because of how I have them kind of one up and one down. So we'll stick with the whole Patreon thing, and I think we'll grab... That is not what I wanted to grab. It doesn't match at all. Here we go. This is the mystery bag for March for Patreon. So you have to be in the Lenny Digital's Patreon group to get um, these two Shea kits that I'm using. There is some super cute little pins and kind of realistic looking desk accessories in the mini grab bag. So just open up to remind myself what's in here and see if there's anything I want to grab. I think we'll probably save these and just decorate the desktop with them. I think we're going to give up on the sewing kit because it does not match. It's more of a bluey pink, a bluey green than, a, than this kind of green that goes with the coral. So I don't need that. So let's use Eleni Digital's font. I'm going to use Celine. So today, tomorrow is the 28th. And we got 20, 29, 30. March has 31 days. Friday is April Fool's Day. Okay, I'm going to turn my image tool off so now I can lasso all of this text. And I want to resize it so it fits in these little circles. I think that's a good size. I'm not too sure if this color none of these colors are working. <laughs> Coral is the best. Yep, after all that, I'm not going to use any of them. So, this is the Suzy K font from Lenny Digitals. And I made my own stickers using the Lenny Digitals font. I think I even did a video on how to do it quite a long time ago. It's 
one of my earlier videos. Anyway, so after I made my own stickers, I saved them into my elements so they would be handy when I needed them. I think they've got a white border, that kind of old school st style, with a smidge of a shadow, but it's going to make it so that they actually show up on these stickers. And we can see what day it is. And it's still on any digital font, so it's still working with what I was going for. That's not what I want to be. So I'm just using the image tool and trying not to do that. The lasso tool would also work, but then I would need to move the stickers to a blank space on my screen. So I'm just trying to grab them and drag them to where I want them to go. Last one. There we go. I don't think I purchased the exclusives this month. Now I'm regretting it. <laughs> Let me tell you. Um, because they would be perfect to fill in this space. That's okay. We can figure something else out. So that is the Susie K font that we're using. So we'll use it here. Turn my image tool off. I'll put March. I want it bigger than the washi. I always put the month. This is my March kiss planner. Um, so, and there's more March days than April. So that's why this weekly ends up in the March planner with March as the month name and not April, even though we switched to April partway through. That is my logic that works for me. Okay, so now I'm thinking, do we have green Lilas? If you watch any of the Twitch streams, Jenna gives away Lila stickers for free just because you watch and because she's awesome. We don't have a lot of green. So the other thing we have are the samplers. So these are stickers that Jenna gives away every Saturday. She does three samplers on her website. These might match. Kind of work. This was not this week, but last week samplers. Oh, week before samplers. This week were these cute little space ones. Now, the Patreon is monthly. So if you sign up for the Patreon today or any time in the next four days, you will get the March goodies. And then it will renew for April 1st and you will also get the April goodies, but you will have to pay your fee now and again in a few days. So if you want the March Patreon stuff and you sign up this week, that's great. But know that your April subscription will renew on the 1st. Um, and once the stuff is, the month is over, everything's gone from Patreon to download. Just like on the Lenny Digital's website, if you want the samplers, I think these four are still available on the Lenny Digital's website. Everything that you can see there. But if you don't download them in the next few days, they will be gone forever. And Jenna will not give them to you you ask her and beg and cry, it won't matter. <laughs> Let's do Nico eating a pretzel. I like pretzels. There we go. 
I'm looking for green stuff. Gibraltar hiding in a green bowl. That's cute. These are years worth of Gibra of green, <laughs> of, of Gibraltar, of green, of, these are years of sampler stickers from the Lenny Digitals website. So a lot of these you won't be able, or all of these you won't be able to get now, um, but I can still use them. really pretty. Look at that. I don't think I'm going to use the cranky sassy. I don't think I'm going to use these after all. I like this green stuff. I need some more peachy stuff too though because it looks kind of weird just having those date covers peachy and nothing else. So let's look for some peachy stickers. We're at the beginning. We may have to find another way to tie in the peachy stickers. don't really march. March. These don't really match. Oh gosh, not at all. That's the wrong green. These little flowers are pretty in their green. Is kind of fun. I am usually like super specific uh, about using like one kit for my spreads <laughs> and I've got like a little bit of all sorts of things. These peaches are close. I don't know. Might be too pink. Oh yes. Wait. Right here. Let me zoom in so you can see that kind of tiny. That's way too pink. Oh my gosh, I didn't even notice until I zoomed in how pretty that is. I have a few more days to go buy the exclusive kit from Lenny Digitals for March. <laughs> I just became even more tempted. These little origamis are pretty. I wonder how they match. Not really. They don't. <laughs> what else have they got? it. Alright, we need some peachy stuff. So let's grab this little pill-shaped highlighter daily thing. We'll put that there. Which one? Oh, this one. I love these pens with the little crystals in them. Okay. Oh, 
way back early on in the samplers, we got this coffee cup, which is my favorite Lenny Digital's coffee cup. So we'll stick that there. I'm going to take this kind of plaid looking. So I made this daily checklist in Procreate. It is a very simplified version of the one I did videos on a while ago. There's a template of the simplified video, uh, simplified checklist on my coffee page. There's a link in the description. Um, but what I do is I just take an element from whatever kit I'm using and insert it into this template that I made. And then I can have a super matchy template. And we'll just make it a clipping mask and then I have some of my little characters imported in so that I can match my character to my kit or my spread. So we'll grab Davy drinking his water and this can be my checklist. PNG copy and we did a peach on purpose because I was trying to tie in some more peach colors. Now where do we put it? Oh, what am I thinking? I'm doing a weekly. I don't need a daily checklist. Well, darn, there goes my plan of tying in the peach color. Gosh, I should not plan so late at night. I'm a mess. All right, Lenny Digitals, elements. I need something to stick over top of the beer because I don't want a coffee and a beer. So let's give this a minute. These are element stickers from Lenny Digitals. A lot of them are in the shop, the elements and the transients, they don't always stay forever. These are the cute little wet wipes. I think they're still in the shop. I will link the Lenny Digital's face, uh, website and yeah, the website in the description to the video. Oops, I don't want to take the lid off. Look how cute these little wet wipes are. I love them. There's tissues too um, on the website. Tissue boxes, which are very cute. Is there anything else in here I can use? There's the notebook thing. Nope. I think we're done. I think, I think that's it. Let's see if we can see any green Oh, what do they do? Go back, go back. Peachy or green things. I don't really want a pencil case. I have so many stickers. Look at them. As they slowly load. We already got a couple pins, we've got a highlighter, we've got some coffee. Nothing's really jumping out at me to decorate the desk with.
Yeah. I think the wet wipes are good enough. It's a cute spread. I need to go in and fill in my garbage day and, and all my videos and all those things. But it's late. So let's get this uploaded. We'll call it done. We've got some green and some peachy colors. I'm not loving how this highlighter is sitting here. I don't want to make Shea upside down. I don't even know how big these little pill-shaped highlighter things are in real life. I feel like they're kind of smallish. But I don't know. I could be wrong. Anyway, that was super cute. I used lots of Lenny Digital stickers that I haven't, that I've had for a long time and not put in any spreads. Um, some Patreon stuff. So I think that turned out really cute. I love this new BYO planner from Lenny Digitals. I love green. So yeah, that was fun. Um, so quick recap. The new schedule will be Sundays, a plan with me. We'll talk about the new digital paper challenge and I will show you all the things that I bought. The Tuesdays will be a plan with me using Procreate and Custom Scene, and Thursdays will be Pink Pen Studio new releases. So we'll give that a go and see what everyone thinks, and um, that means I will be back in two days. I will see you Tuesday. I always post my videos in the middle of the night, so I say Tuesday. You Most of you probably won't see it till Wednesday, um, but uh, yeah, that's that's how I do. So, check the description, like, subscribe, visit my Facebook group. I can't wait to see what you guys make with the digital papers for the digital paper challenge. And I'll see you soon. Bye!